All right, so thanks guys for jumping on. I know that you know we typically don't have calls on Wednesday, but this was an important topic that I wanted to go over with you guys. And I've been jotting down a couple of things as I think of them um, that to me they might be common, not common sense, but like second nature, I guess is the right word because I've been doing this for, you know, a couple of months now, almost two years next March. But um, I want to make sure that you guys um, are doing them, that you guys are aware, that you guys are familiar with some of these things, and that you guys are practicing these things. Um, so in no particular order, I'm going to just go down my list. And also because um, one of our team members had expressed that and I thought it was um, a really bright idea that even though we hold getting started right calls with you, when it's at the beginning, it might be so much information that even though we cover all of these things, you, it might just whoop, go over your head or you might forget it. You might be, you know, you might have it down um, in notes that you probably haven't touched since the first time you started, whatever, because there's so much going on, right? Um, so I just want to make sure that everyone is on the same page, that if something doesn't make sense and something still confuses you, uh, please, you know, um, ask questions, um, stop me. And if something confuses you that we don't cover on my list, please also ask me. Um, or if you think of something afterwards, please, you know, come into the chat and ask us and, you know, also in the team page that's why the team page is there so um all right so let's start actually with the team page and the team chat since i brought that up um so the team page is there for us for all of us it's not just for me to post things it's not just for me to post videos and tips and you know things like that um it's for all of us so if something's working for you, if you came across a, you know, YouTube video or a video from a top coach or, you know, verbiage that you've been utilizing, that it's working for you, templates, whatever it is, feel free to post in Team Advent. You know, feel free to come into the chat and say, hey guys, you know, I tried this today and I've gotten a lot of likes or I've gotten a lot of comments or, you know, people are coming, you know, and private messaging me like share, you know, that's what our team is about, you know, sharing what's working, sharing what's not working so that someone else doesn't do it. Um, but certainly please, you know, come into uh, those two areas in, you know, team chat and the page and, um, and comment, you know, and share and ask questions, participate because I feel at times that I'm talking to myself, um, and that group is for everyone. It's not just for me. So make sure that you guys engage and that you're participating. Uh, so that's um, one thing. The other thing I want to talk about is active status guaranteed is something that I literally just found out about like last month. And I thought that um, I should share. I actually shared it the same day with you guys in the chat because no one ever, I never knew this, like no one ever shared it with me. And due to this, we have actually had to come out of pocket sometimes, some, a lot of us, uh, because someone, for example, uh, re, let's say you, you know, um, one of your customers bought a challenge pack or bought, you know, or their Shakeology, the second one was shipped out. And, and then it gets to their house and whatever the challenge pack didn't work out for them because it sat on their table and they never used it because we know our products work. And then they decide that they're going to send it back. They don't want the Shakeology. They don't want the challenge pack. They send it back. What happens? It hits your account as a negative. So um, if it was a challenge pack, depending on what challenge pack it is, you know, you can be um, down minus 105 uh, personal volume points because personal volume points is what you get from um, connecting a challenger or um, a challenger or whatever you are consuming. That's what gives you personal um, volume to your account. So let's say now you're 100, you know, and five points under, 
even though you have your Shakeology shipping, right? But let's say your Shakeology hasn't shipped that month. Now you're under, you're minus 105 or whatever. And you're Damn, like, I look, I have mass. and you're like, what the heck? You know what I mean? Like now what? And then what have we done in the past? We go and we buy like a three day refresh so that we can come back up to, a, you know, 50 points. Cause that's what would keep coaches and emeralds um, active. And little did I know that if you are on Shakeology home direct, all right. Um, so every month your, your Shakeology is shipping and you email coach relations and actually it's compliance that you have to email. You tell them, Hey, such and such, but you got to do it the week it happens. So let's say uh, they don't process returns on Wednesdays. So no returns today, but let's say it happened, you know, this week sometime and you notice, you know, from your back office, hold up, why am I minus whatever? Then you email them right away and you tell them um, such and such person returned and I am requesting an active status guarantee is what it's called. And they check your account. And if you are on Shakeology HD, they um, basically give it back to, they give you back the um, points. So that means that you don't have to come out of pocket at, in order to remain active. They just, um, you know, give you that as a courtesy because they see that you are on Shakeology. So basically you should be at least at 90 points monthly. And so that's why they um, give us, they award us that, those points back. So make sure that, you know, you are aware of, you know, what's going on in your business. Um, so, which actually brings me up to the, uh, drill down. So as you, um, and not only the drill down, but your back office. So as you start to bring in customers, you know, challengers into your groups and you have people in your downline coaches, you should be checking your downline. You should be checking your drill down. You should be checking your back office daily. It's there so that you guys can utilize it. It's not there so that, you know, it goes unnoticed. So I know many of you are checking it and many of you aren't. And, you know, it's, the, it's part of your business. That's the only way that you guys are going to know where you stand. So when I wake up in the morning, um, my routine in the past was to get on my computer and check my back office. At this point, I'm doing my personal development first, and then I'm jumping on to check my back office. That, and honestly, I check it more than once a day because it changes. It changes um, as things hit your account. So as someone returns, so let's say this morning, everything looked fine, you were active. Guess what? This afternoon, you can be going inactive because someone returned. And if you didn't handle it, then it's your fault because you didn't look at your back office. So make sure that you are doing this daily and not just once, but a few times a day. Um, the other thing I want to um, remind you guys is about the posting schedule. Um, you know, many, many of us, because I, I have to add myself into that account, um, struggle with posting, uh, whether it's, you know, on social media, I mean, on Facebook or Instagram, you know, just try to actually on team admin, um, in the chat, I've shared like two or three ways that, you know, schedules that you can, um, utilize to your advantage. So like, if you don't have, um, like a schedule down, what you need to do is look at these schedules. If you go in and look at the past pictures that we've shared in the chat, you'll see them in there. And basically it's like in the morning, what should you be putting motivation? You know, people are going to work. People wake up like, Oh, really? I got to go to work. So people need a little encouragement in the morning. So that should be your first post, you know, during, and also you have to figure out what it is that, you know, the times that people are more most engaged on your post. So make sure that, um, you know, it, it typically is morning, lunchtime, and then dinner time, right? Or around eight, nine o'clock. So, so if you're going to post three times then make it where it's not just beach body, you know, so that people are not like, here she goes again, you know, you have to be providing value to people. So, uh, you go into the chat and check out 
the, uh, I think it was like three of them that I posted in there that I shared, they're really helpful and they tell you, you know, what you should be um, posting. Um, another thing about posts is um, people want to see you. So make sure that you are, you know, sharing who you are, not just, you know, about beach body, not just about your workouts, not just about your kids, not just about food. Not, it has to be, you know, a combination of everything, you know, it has to be. And even uh, when Maria came and talked to us, she has a system, right? So she's like, she puts her kids and then she puts food and then she go. it's like a rotation. So once you've gone through the rotation, you repeat it again. It'll be easier that way and it'll look clean when you're posting. So look for those in the chat. Um, all right. Another thing that if you are not utilizing, guys, really shame on you because I've said it many times and I've shared it many times and it's in Team Advent. And it is in the chat as well because I've shared it many times. The power of three is like seriously God sent. Um, I used to just uh, do a spreadsheet. At, before that, I used to do um, a notebook and then I jumped into a spreadsheet and then I jumped back to um, a notebook using the power of three um, format because it really summarizes everything we need to be doing and using and contacting or following up whatever with people the invite you know our first vital behavior so the power of three is where is that really literally you're adding three people you're connecting with three people nothing related to beach body you're inviting three people and then you're following up with three people if you want to add it you know to more i mean if you want to add more people like five people or and whatever it's it's um a decision you need to make but around this time of the month if you haven't hit success club if you've only been inviting three people i always say double it you know go up to 10 if, if need be um but definitely what i did that has been working is that now i go back to the beginning of the month and all those people i added now i'm inviting them because it's time to invite them right i added them to my contact list but i never reached out to them and then the people who I connected with, I'm asking for referrals. You know, they're looking at my page and they might come back and be like, hold up, why didn't you invite me though, right? So it's like a, a system. It really helps you stay organized. So make sure you are using the power of three. It is powerful, just like its name. Um, let's see. Um, many of you might be asking, or thinking, I have, um, you know, I have my list that I've been starting. And you, you, I hope you guys all have a list that you're working from, because if you don't have a list, you don't have a business. Um, let's just face it, we're in a people business, so you have to have a list of names, right, so that you can invite from daily. Um, but like, let's say you made your list from your friends and family and. You know, you looked at the memory jogger and you wrote down names from college and high school and school and church and everything. And then you went to Facebook and then you went to Instagram and then you, you're like, I don't know anyone else. Like, what do I do? Now you have to start forming relationships with people you don't know. So where can you go? Instagram is a good place because, you know, you're going to start looking for people who, you know, you have similarities you know, that you, um, that you like the same things or that you follow the same things, that kind of things and start conversations. Another thing is, you know, go into groups that you participate in, whether they're professional, whether they're, you know, mommy groups, whether they're wives groups, whatever they are, and always try to add value because that's what it's all about. You know, us adding value to someone's life and, and just sharing. In there, I've never ever posted a call to action. Number one, it's against the rules. Number two, it doesn't look good. <laughs> um, and, you know, and, and, it, and it's you being salesy if that's what you're doing, but you're in there to make friends because at the end of the day, it's about, you know, ending the trends of obesity. And so we want to help, you know, everyone. So that includes everyone on Facebook, everyone on, in any group, anyone on Instagram, anyone in the street, anyone in the supermarket, anyone, 
So make sure that that's where you're going. Um, just, just to mention some places where you can, you know, get new contacts. Um, all right, the club membership. And like I said, this is in no particular order. The club membership. All right, so let me backtrack real quick. As you start to, um, and I mentioned this, you know, during your um, getting started right call, and I've also mentioned it again when you make your first challenge pack sale. Um, however, I know that some of you haven't been doing this, and this is critical, guys. Keep a list of everyone, everyone that you have connected with a challenge pack. And the, day, the minute, that's what I do. The minute I see it in my back office, I go to my spreadsheet. For that, I keep the spreadsheet. And I put their name. I put the date they purchased and the date I'm going to follow up with them. Typically, I do seven to 10 business days. Clearly, I'm in, you know, in contact with them in the, in the challenge group, but that contact is different contact. That's a contact of, hey, how are you doing? How is Shapeology? How is the group? How are you feeling? You know, because if they want to take advantage of the discount, this is your opportunity to convert them to a discount coach. This is your opportunity to um, present the coaching opportunity. If it's someone who's been participating, someone that you know, you know, is going to be a great addition to the team. For example, um, Rosa, um, you know, had um, actually someone that joined uh, that went through the sneak peek, but she had already taken, you know, note of him. Uh, she knew that he would be a great addition to our team, that he would be a great coach. So, you know, she would make sure, she was making sure that she caught him right before that Shapeology shipped out because she didn't want him to be charged full price. And even if the person doesn't want to coach guys, you're doing them a favor by saving them 25%, you know? So who doesn't want to save 25%? I know I did, you know, and that's how I signed up originally. And then at the end of the day, if they decide to pay it forward, they're already enrolled and they're ready to go when they say, hey, Gabby, or hey, you know, Carol, I want to coach. And then they're already signed up. So make sure that no one falls through the crack. I see a lot of people's Shakeology shipping, and I find myself reaching out to you guys and asking you guys, who is this person? Who is that person? Why is there Shakeology shipping? And while I understand that many people might be like, no, I don't want to sign up, and you guys have reached out, you know, um, I just want to make sure it's not falling through the cracks. So I might still ask you, but... Um, you know, for example, Carol is good with this. She, you know, I'll reach out and she's like, ready, already, you know, reached out to that person. They don't want to do it. So she's like on point. And so now I'm like backing off because I know that she, you know, got it under control. So I just want to make sure that you guys, um, you know, don't let anything slip. So make sure that you are keeping that list. It's an, an important uh, list. My, what I call it is a conversion list. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I mentioned the the list, your the list that you should be working your contact list from. Um, what I um, if you guys are having trouble coming up with at least a hundred people, if you don't have a list of a hundred people or more, I need you to private um, message me and ask me for help because you should have a list of a hundred people at least. So if you don't have one, please. Contact me privately and tell me, Gabby, I need help with this. And we'll work on it together. All right? Um, all right. The other thing is goals. Um, I want you guys to get in the habit of setting goals. I know goals are scary because they, um, they make you write down things that you want to work towards, things that you desire but things that you're also scared to work towards because you don't want to fail. But if you don't write them down and you don't date them, they're never going to happen. So you can't say, and you know, and I'll give you my example. I know for, I know um, for me when they asked me, Hey Gabby, when are you going to be diamond? And it was like May ish. And I had signed up at the end of March. 
I was like, I don't know, in December, because diamond seems, you know, really hard to attain, and it really isn't. And I was like, I don't know, I guess in December. And, and I remember Audrey being like, uh, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. That's not going to work. And in my mind, I was like, yo, she's crazy. Like, how am I not, like, I can't do that. Like, I, yeah, December, you know? And then when I started to research it and realized that it's not that hard, then I set a goal. And then I was like, all right, it's going to happen. You know, I'm going to hit Emerald by this date, and I made it happen. And I'm going to hit Diamond by this time. I said, I'm going to hit it before I turn 90 days in the, in the um, what is it, in my business. And that's exactly what I did. And then I said, I'm going to hit two star by this time. And I made it happen as well. Listen, there's goals that I haven't attained, you know, that I failed, but only failing is going to get you closer to succeeding. So yeah, try your best not to fail because it's not a good feeling, but the, you know, the more you fail, the closer you are to succeeding. So if you are an emerald, I want you guys to set a goal to, and, and you know, and it's really not about, um, it's not really about the title. I don't want you to get caught up in the title. I want you to understand that the reason I'm mentioning these is because that's the way the company gauges, you know, your growth. So if you hit diamond, you know that you're cycling, you know, your, your, your payout is more, you know, and obviously this is about, um, even though it is about helping people, it's also about helping yourself, right? It's about creating um, financial success and freedom as well as being significant in people's lives. So you're only going to do that, but you're going to, you're only going to achieve your goals by helping other people, period. We know that already. So make sure that if you are an emerald, that you are setting the next stepping stone into your business and date it. Don't be scared. And send it to me and tell me, Gab, do you think this is, you know, um, something I can attain? You know, is it realistic? Is it too far out? Is it too close? And we can look at it together. So if you are just a coach, you can definitely get to emerald in your first 30 days. It's not difficult. It's something that all you do is need to sponsor two people as whether they're discount coaches or working coaches, it doesn't matter. The way I did it, I think many of you know my story. I sponsored my husband and I sponsored my brother. So <clears throat> so basically set those goals. Don't be scared to set a date because that's the only way that you will grow in this business. If you're not setting goals, you're not going anywhere. That's just the honest truth, guys. All right. Um, all right. So I know many of you, and I think all of you have done this, but I'm going to repeat it. Um, your direct deposit should, all, should be um, all set up. Your three websites with Beachbody, they should all be set up. Your profile, it should be set up. And obviously the direct deposit, that's simple. You don't want them sending you a live check because they will charge you for cutting that check. I think it's like $2.50. Um, don't, don't leave that money on the table. Set up your direct deposit. Um, the three websites, have them ready because sometimes, you know, someone needs um, a Spanish. Typically we don't utilize them. However, there's sometimes that the mobile app is not working and you're going to have to send them your link. So make sure that those three websites are set up. The other thing is, um, what is it? The, um, your profile. The reason your profile needs to be completed is because once you are an Emerald coach, right, that's the first milestone and you hit success club the month prior you qualify for free people, for leads. The company gives you people. But there's requirements. There's some requisites that need to be met in order for you to qualify. What are those? You need to be an Emerald Coach. You need to have your fees paid. You need to have hit Success Club the month before. And your profile needs to be completed. Not 100%, but somewhat. Like your before and after picture should be there. You know, if you're in your progress, that's fine. You know, put your progress from a week or two or three and then update it as you go and then write your story about why you started. So make sure that that is completed. Um, 
you know what, I'm going to go back to club membership. I started talking about it and, and didn't complete it. Um, so the club membership, so when I started talking about the list that you, you're keeping, so now as of June 25th, I think, it, that's the date, Beachbody has attached the club membership, uh, club membership for everybody. So before, it was attached to everybody, but people needed to like activate it in order for it to, um, to work, and then you would be charged 30 days after. Now, everybody gets it unless they check out, um, they opt out of it during checkout. So what I tell my people is, um, hey, there's a club membership. Know how to talk about the club membership. If you don't know, I've posted videos on um, Team Advent about it. I've also shared it in the chat. Obviously, you're not going to go through everything in the chat to look, um, but it is in your back office as well. And if you can't find it, please reach out to me. But the club membership is important to understand because you guys need to explain this to not only your challengers, but to your coaches. So the club membership is something that's charged quarterly. It's about $42 a tax. So the first 30 days is free. They get access to the super gym. They get access to um, the nutritional, um, you know, uh, help in the back office. Um, there's like, they can set up their own personalized nutrition plan. Uh, they have access to Beachbody on demand and a bunch of websites and like a blogs, all this great stuff, right? So I tell my challengers, hey, you get access 30 days for free, you can keep it or you can opt out of it uh, during the checkout process and, you, and you'll see it, um, it says it like, uh, 21 day fix for example Shakeology and then it says club membership and there's like a like you can click on it and opt out of it so make sure that you're telling them this so that you don't have to deal with you know oh someone got charged and then now they're calling you upset because like you tricked me was this $42 if you didn't mention it to them the other thing is for um, if they do if they say to you know I want to try it see what speech body on the band all about and then you tell them remember you know 30 days from today, they're going to charge you, so make sure you cancel it. That's one thing. So when you're reaching out to them to convert them, make sure that you're bringing up the club membership as well. For coaches, every coach also gets charged for it. So um, for you guys, I expect that if you're an Emerald or above, you have um, the club membership, that you have it active because if you're hitting Success Club, then you're going to get the lead. If you don't have the club membership, that's part of the, one of the requirements, then you won't get leads. So you have to have it active. Um, but discount coaches, I also keep a list. Now it's not a conversion list. It's a club membership list that if they decided that they were going to keep it, then I have to, it's our responsibility to remind them again so that, listen, as their coaches, you don't, want, you don't ever want people to think that you are trying to make money off of them because that is not you know, what we're in this business for. So it is our responsibility to make sure that they cancel it. I see a lot of club memberships being charged to people. And I hope that you guys are aware because otherwise they will call you out and they will, you know, be upset about it. So make sure that you are handling those things, guys. All right. Um, <clears throat> what else? The uh, so I've been doing the Craig holiday calls and they're so amazing. Like, I can't even stop talking about them, but super, super amazing. And he talks about um, time management in one of them. And while we hear that, I think you guys have heard it. Doesn't matter if you've been with the company one week or you know, 10 months or a year or two, whatever. Um, organization is key, right? Uh, being organized and being scheduled, you know, having a schedule, following a schedule is important to be successful. And I've struggled with that, you know, for all of my 19 months and listening to that call and, um, and one of the um, leaders that I posted in, in some of the groups, like it just, it really, he was just talking to me and I, and he talked about getting a hard copy calendar and you scheduling everything. 
I was such a planner girl. And then, you know, then this came out and I was like, I don't think I can work with this. And then I moved into this and then I lost track of my things. And even though it pops up, like if you're busy and then if I open my calendar and I didn't look, like it goes away and I'm just like, oh, dang, like, you know? So if you keep it written down and you're crossing it off, it's important. If you haven't listened to that call, guys, oh my God, like it really will change the course of your business. So I'm not going to ruin it for you, but get a hard copy calendar and follow his steps. I mean, it is so good that um, I'm doing what he suggested. So just to, you know, to basically not feel stress, you know, to basically um, uh, enjoy your time at each part of your day. So for example, if you're at work, you're not thinking about Beachbody because you have like 300 things to do. You know, you have to be, you know, present wherever you are. And that's what's going to diminish your stress levels. So if you're with, you know, for us stay-at-home moms, if we are, you know, being moms from the moment, you know, our kids wake up to the moment they go to sleep, that's what we're doing. We're not, you know, touching our phones to look at Beachbody unless you have it scheduled in. And then, you know, schedule your Beachbody time so that you're focused and you're not in, you know, in like 300 chats because I am so guilty of that. I am like, literally in like a ton of chats, not even just hours. And I get distracted easily. So you know what I've done? I don't, I've promised myself not to go in there unless I've gotten my beach body work done. And that's what I've been doing. So, so make sure that you get a hard copy calendar and, pl and plan your day. Um, the other thing is if you are, if you are working this business, and, and I don't mean a discount coach. I mean, you are, you know, whether you're doing it on a part-time basis, but you're building a business, you should be on a home direct order. No excuses. 90 points should be produced by you every single month. Why? Because if you are working this business, then you are aiming to hit success club. And if you are not um, on a home direct, whether you have, a hundred points they will not count so make sure that you are on a home direct order not only for the purposes of success club but guys how do you expect to talk to a customer or a coach about our products if you're not being you know proof the product works if you're not drinking it if you're not enjoying it if you're not getting benefits from it if you're not working out so make sure you are on a home direct order if you are working this business on a serious note, okay? Um, we'll talk about the three vital behaviors in a minute. Uh, I want to talk about the challenge group expectations. Um, so everyone here has gone through a challenge group or is currently in one. So if... If you are signing up people and you're a new coach and still feel um, uneasy to hold your own challenge group, that's fine. You can put them in mind. You can put them to your, you know, in your upline, um, whoever your sponsoring coach is in their uh, challenge group until you are up and, you know, ready to go. Typically, uh, we want to do this only for one round because what ends up happening, I'm really a perfectionist with my groups and in terms of their meals because of the fact that you know we want to we want to make sure that our customers are getting results because they're going to be happy that's what they signed up for that's our role as a coach to get them to help them get results and also because guess what when people start noticing and they want to pay it forward they're going to join your team or if it's not for them because this business is not for everyone they're going to send you referrals. So it becomes a lot if I have to check everyone's meals. Um, I don't mind doing it, you know, one round, maybe even two rounds if you're like, Gab, I really just don't feel comfortable. But then after that, then I get to shadow you in your own group. But the idea is that when you're speaking to someone about a challenge group, 
you let them know that they will be receiving motivation, support, accountability in that group. You also talk to them about the fact that, you know, their meals are going to be checked. Um, you know, I tell, I tell everybody I speak with, listen, I go in on your meals and, you know, at times it may feel like I'm like just ripping your post apart, but it's for your own good. I'm not, you know, I do it with all good intentions. So make sure that, you know, when you are bringing people in there, you are notifying them of that. And then eventually I'm going to, you know, help you create your own group because the idea is that you become a, an independent coach because when you start to build coaches under you, you need to do this for them, right? So you don't want to be under my wing always. Um, so that's the challenge group expectations. Um, the compensation plan, is everyone clear about the compensation plan or do you guys want me to go over it very quickly? Could you please go over it? Yes, absolutely. So, so basically, um, the compensation plan, there's about three to four ways to earn money with Beachbody. The first one is the simplest one, which is uh, by commission. So when you uh, connect a customer to a challenge pack, you get commission. Um, so there is different pricing. Um, and we can share the document in, in the chat so that everyone prints it and has it readily available. But basically, is, you know, depending on the challenge pack, it starts at 140. Those are the ones that are always on sale, right? So you get for that challenge pack, you get $40. For a challenge pack that costs $160, you get $50. For one that costs like 200 and uh, the one that costs 180, I believe you get, you get $60. Uh, the one that costs 205, you get $70. That's the first way to make commission, right? So that's a challenge pack. So it's more than 25% you're getting actually on a challenge pack. On just Shakeology, uh, if someone buys just Shakeology alone, or if it's um, a repeating order of someone who you know doesn't want the, to be part of the discount, then you get 25%, which is about $32 from just Shakeology alone. All right, um, and that actually is tied up with your Success Club points, right? So, um, just to mention Success Club points, you get two points from a challenge pack, and you get one point from um, Shakeology home direct, not a single order or one-time order, but it has to be on home direct, so then you get one point for that. Um, so that's uh, for commission. For team cycle, that's the second way you can earn commission um, money with Beachbody or earn an income. It's through team cycle bonuses. So with team cycle bonuses, in order for you to um, start earning that way, you need to be an Emerald coach. And that means you have to be an active Emerald coach, which means that your two coaches that you sponsor need to also be active. And not only are you benefiting from the volume that's being produced by them, whether they're working the business or just drinking Shakeology, but you benefit from the volume that all the volume that's under you. So it doesn't matter if it's your coaches or if it's coaches that belong to your, you know, sponsoring coach or to your upline coach, as long as they're under you and you see them, you benefit from that volume. As an Emerald coach, you cycle um, at $14. How do you get one cycle? By 300 volume points. Because this is a binary system, they take 200 points, 200 volume points from one leg and 100 from the other one, that adds 300 volume points and that's one cycle. As an Emerald, $14. As a ruby, 16. As a diamond, 18. Um, the other thing that you uh, need to know about um, team cycle is that, um, was I going to say, like I said, it, it really is about all of the volume. It's not just something that you're, you know, responsible for. So that's why the first milestone and your first goal should be to get to Emerald so that you can start to cycle. Um, the other thing is that if you're an Emerald coach and then you go inactive, you lose all of that volume because what ends up happening is that Beachbody is so generous that they allow you to roll over if you were unable to cycle. So let's say 
one of your legs is stronger because you haven't developed your weak leg yet and you were just getting all this volume on your strong leg, they, can have, they could have wiped it and said, you know what, you didn't cycle this week, then, then you don't get the money. But they're so generous that they literally let you carry it over to the following week, right? So what happens is sometimes someone can have a ton of volume on their strong leg and haven't cycled because they haven't developed their weak leg, which is why I always say focus on your weak leg. First rank, then your weak leg so that you can produce more volume, more volume, and so you can cycle more and more. Um, but if you lose your rank, which means that you either go inactive, that'll, that'll make it, or if you um, one of your coaches goes inactive, then that, that basically um, makes you go inactive, right? Um, not inactive, excuse me, lose your rank, you lose all of that volume. So once you get there, you want to make sure that you always maintain your rank, um, that you're always, which is important why you always need to drink Shakeology so that your active status is never tampered with. Um, but um, what was I going to say? So that's in terms of cycles. The other way is by bonuses. Bonuses are based on rank so once you get to a star diamond um once you once you've sponsored two coaches two diamond coaches into the organization into your organization and you are a lifetime two star diamond coach you get a quarterly bonus but you have to be you have to hold that rank for six weeks once you get there i'll break it down individually so that you really understand it but basically all you need to know is that in that quarter so it's four quarters right so there's the two star diamond bonus pool the five star diamond bonus pool 10 and 15. as a two star um i'm a three star diamond right but i only get the two star once i become a five star then i qualify for the two star and the five star once you get to 15 star you qualify for the two star five star 10 star, 15 star, and it's about $50,000 on a, in a quarter. So that's the third way to make um, an income with Beachbody. And um, you have to hold that uh, rank. You have to be active for at least six weeks in that quarter period, which is like, I mean, it can be stressful, but we're talking about what, 12 weeks and no, in a quarter? Yeah, right? What's a quarter? Yeah, 12 weeks. So you have to, to half of the time, you have to hold that rank in order to qualify for it. So um, that's one, that's a third way to make money. And then the third, the fourth one is by leads. So the company gives you free leads if you are holding your, um, your um, rank, you know, in terms of at least an emerald, and then uh, you are you are hitting success club or achieving success club the month prior. So they, so basically to get, to get leads in October, you have to, um, had been a, um, have had to have hit success club in, in September and been, um, you know, an Emerald coach. So at least an Emerald coach. The other way, sorry, there's another way to earn money is, um, is once you become a ruby coach you get to have a percentage of your coach's team cycle bonus so for example um you know once you get to so anna's anna's gonna be ruby tomorrow so basically all of her all of her emerald coaches when they cycle she gets five percent of that once you hit diamond and all your emeralds or rubies cycle, then you get 10% of all their um, uh, cycle bonuses. So let's say for a diamond coach, you know, let's just say one person, um, one, one of their team members cycled $100. So that person gets $10 out of that commission um, or cycle bonus from just from, you know, having their team members uh, cycle. So that's another way. So Beachbody just wants to give money away, basically. So, but it's your responsibility to, you know, meet those goals in order to earn those 
um, all those criteria and all that um, compensations that they're making available for us. So I know it's a lot in terms of the compensation, uh, but as you start to cycle, you start to understand. As, as you start to hit those uh, milestones, you also, you know, it starts to make more sense. But does that make sense? Do you guys have any questions? Do you need any clarifications about the compensation plan? No? Good. Okay. Um, da, da, da. Oh, so the other thing I want to talk about is um, GSRs. So we are very close, um, and when I say we, I'm talking about Anna has, my, and my sister have really taken on a lot in terms of um, creating welcome emails for challengers and, um, and the coaches because there are, everyone who is successful in this company has a system, let's face it. So unfortunately, um, you know, we were handed a system uh, so we had to put one together. It's taken, you know, uh, some time because we have to get together and make sure that um, schedules match and all that great stuff. But we are very close to rolling out the system that we've put in place. Um, and once we have it in place, everyone, all your coaches, whether they're discount or working coaches will get it. So you're gonna backtrack a little bit just to kind of capture everyone and then moving forward, you're gonna send that email the minute the person signs up. So, you know, we're gonna walk you through that. We're not just gonna be like, here's the email, like we're gonna have a call and we're gonna say this is what you, you know, this is what you're gonna do um, if you sign up a coach and then you'll have, you'll have a to-do list, you'll have action steps and all of that great stuff. So thank you, Anna, and to my sister for helping with that process. Um, also, as you are signing up a coach, especially your working coaches, you have to have a getting started right call. I've had those um, many, actually I've had those with every one of you guys. Um, if I'm not your sponsoring coach, you should have had it with your sponsoring coach. Um, but if you're bringing in people and you, you know, there's a couple of you that I've already done some with, but the ones that I haven't done these with, if you are signing up people and need me on your first getting started right call, please let me know so that we can schedule uh, them. They should be happening anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. That's the time that you need to capture the individual so that you can answer all their questions and you can put them through you know, the system. Uh, the other thing is make sure that um, you're printing the calendar that is in Team Advent because there is a schedule that was put together, again, by the um, lovely ladies. Um, and it's basically, you know, the whole calendar is mapped out. At the beginning of the month, we do Coach Basics. So anyone who's new goes in that Coach Basics. Um, and it's a 12-day training. We have a sneak peek during the month. And it tells you, the, the calendar tells you exactly when you need to be posting about it, advertising about it. So make sure that you're looking at the calendar. I have mine printed and highlighted so that, you know, I make sure that I stay on track with that calendar and the schedule. Venga, papi. ¿Qué quiere? ¿Quiere agua? Um, so, ¿qué quiere, mi amor? Venga, 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 venga. Mira. Tía. Okay, hang on, he's acting. Sorry. Um, so that's that's with um, the getting started right call. So they should happen be, uh, be, between the first 24 to 48 hours. Um, and again, you'll you'll also get those emails very very soon. The other things that have been um, are in the process of being planned. And Rosa is a master at planning events. Thank you, Rosa. 
um, are we scheduled already the first shake and share that we're going to host as a team and it'll be at the beginning of the quarter Mommy. next quarter and it'll be great Mommy. because everybody wants to get in shape at you know new year's resolution and Mommy. yes puppy um, so basically um so so it'll be a great time to host um, your friends or people who wanted to shake, you know, say Shakeology or a little hesitant. That's when you want to uh, bring them in. Um, the other event that we're planning is a fit club, and it'll be probably a week or two after this shake and share. So you can invite those people or invite new people, whatever. The idea is we're going to see how it goes, the turnout, and then we're going to try to host them quarterly um that's that's our goal um and we'll see how the first two events go so thank you rosa for planning those out um and you know as we continue to grow if you guys have ideas please you know uh bring them to us so that we can execute them but and also if you want to participate in executing them even better um let's see i think i'm almost done blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't, does anyone here have, has business cards? No, that's something that we should also look at. Um, I had been holding off because I kind of wanted to create like a team advent logo, but I don't want to hold to anyone because listen, I'm not creative. Um, and I have a friend who I was going to ask, but she's going through some things right now. But, um, the, the web, the, um, back office, excuse me, Beachbody has, a few um, templates that we can utilize. So I'm not sure the pricing, but if you want to go that route first, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, or we can create our own. Uh, and you know, I've seen people, some people that it'll say like nutrition and fitness coach or health and wellness coach or something like that. You know, instead of beach body coach. So it's really up to you. You decide what. Um, how you want to approach it. So that, and, and then the last thing I want to talk about is um, the three vital behaviors. And I just want to make sure that you guys, you know, are practicing the three vital behaviors. Um, you know, basically, I think it, that everyone here um, has heard this a bunch of times. Um, but it's always good to remind you guys because I don't know if it's really sinking in. Uh, if you are not practice, practicing the three vital behaviors, then this business is not gonna work. Let's face it, because the first one is inviting. You know, if you're not inviting mommy, people, mommy, then mommy. how can you expect to help anyone? Mommy, mommy, Dad. Oh my goodness, Papi, what's that song? Moon. So, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, sí, papi, Diego. So, so basically, you know, that's the first vital behavior that you should be. And I know it's, you know, I know for many of you, it might be a little at first, you know, oh my God, like, how do I invite someone? Um, I feel icky or I just don't know how to do it. Or, you know, look, look we've given you templates. But all you have to do is be genuine. All you want to do is make an, you know, uh, an impact in that person's life. So if you're speaking with the heart, it doesn't matter how you invite them, what you say to them, they're going to feel it and they're going to want to, you know, learn more. So, and don't think that because, you know, you're new that, that you can't invite people or feel, you know, awkward doing it. Um, so just do it from the heart and the rest will follow. So. That's the first one. Obviously, the second one is be proof the product works. Um, make sure that you are, you know, some people, some of you guys are working out but not posting it, you know, and I'm not saying that you need to post, you know, your sweaty pic like every single day if you don't feel comfortable, but, but how do people know that you're actually, you know, doing the workouts if they don't see, see you posting? You know, sometimes I go to your 
pages and I, and I go through it and I'm just like, if I was a random person, I would not know that you're a coach and that you can help me. So if I can't tell by going to your page, then there's a problem. So make sure that you are going through your page and looking like, hmm, if, if I was like looking from the outside in, can people tell that I'm a coach? You know, so make sure that you are working out and that you are publicly working out so that you're publicly sharing it. And then finally, obviously, it's personal development, which is super important. Um, you know, I found different ways to do it at the beginning because I'm not a reader. Now I'm doing audiobooks, So um, that's like huge for me. I used to watch videos or just found different things for me to, um, you know, continue to do personal development. But that's important because if you, you know, we are every single day bombarded with negativity. And if you are not, you know, cleaning yourself up with personal development, you know, it's going to be hard to succeed because you're going to start believing the negativity. You know, you're going to start, um, you know, following all the bad vibes. So just make sure that you stay connected. Um, and then finally, oh, and actually before finally, calls. Your calls are, they're non-negotiable. Let's face it. Um, if you're not showing up to these, I mean, this one was obviously kind of like a random one to go over, but the Sunday night calls, unless, you know, you have plans that you just can't, you know what I mean, um, cancel for whatever reason, then I totally understand they're recorded, you can watch them. But if you're home and you don't jump on, then shame on you because these are only to edify you guys. You know, I reach out to people so that these people can talk to you guys about different topics. So make sure that you're jumping on. And then this, the... Um, the other call is a Thursday call. I'm trying to consolidate the Sunday and the Thursday call. Um, right now we have calls through December because I had reached out to many leaders. So once those calls are done, I'm going to consolidate them so that they're only one call. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep them on Sunday or Thursday. We'll decide that closer to the new year. But it's only going to be one call. And then obviously, and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want you to be deciding oh, you know, there's a lead rock call or there's this call and I kind of wanted to jump on that, but then there's another. I just want you to, you know, get everything from one call from us and then if you can jump on the lead well, go ahead or listen to the recording. National wake-up call, another non-negotiable. Obviously, many of you work, so just listen to the recording for that. Um, and then Team Eagle calls, if, you know, I typically jump on those when, um, I mean, they're always good topics, but sometimes I just can't jump on. So, um, but definitely ours is a non-negotiable. And then finally, I just want to leave you with one thing that I, um, heard on the, um, Craig holiday call that I thought was just amazing. Um, I literally like rewound it like, like two, three times just to hear it again. And every time I heard him say it, I was like, yes, it was just that amazing. Um, he talked about um, you know, people quitting and, and then the way he positioned it was just perfect. I want you guys to think about quitting, not, and I'm not talking about just this business. I'm talking about quitting on your exercises, quitting on your nutrition, quitting on your beach body business, because when you first enrolled, you enrolled because you have, you had goals to meet health goals and also, you know, financial goals. And a lot of them, and, and it's not about the money, it's about the freedom that, it, that this business is going to provide for you, right? And, and he talked about how when you quit on this business, you're not quitting on Team Advent, you know? So you need to understand that while we miss, we'll miss you, and we miss you when you're not showing up, you know, to calls and you're not, you know, working the business. We miss you. You know, we, we, we've grown to be a family. It's not about us. It's about who you're quitting on. You're quitting on yourself. You're quitting on your family. You're quitting on your kids. You know, the fact that you have all these goals of, you know, sending your kids to private school, sending your kids to the best colleges, you know, uh, buying a home you know, having savings, going on vacation, 
having not only financial freedom, but time freedom, because that's what it boils down to. Being available for your kids whenever, 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 you know, not having to go build someone else's dream, but your own. So remember that when you're not showing up to calls, when you're not showing up to um, your business, when you're not inviting, when you're not hitting success club, when you're not working out, you're not quitting on me, guys. You're not quitting on your teammates. You're quitting on yourself. You're quitting on your family. And quite honestly, the way he put it was that that is way harder and way more painful than building this business because building this business is much, much easier than having to tell your family that you're quitting on them. So I'm going to leave you with that. The other thing I'm going to leave you with is the fact that um, I believe in each and every one of you guys. I told you guys this before. Um, and quite honestly, uh, I think that I don't know how else to show it to you and express it to you, but I do believe in each and every one of you guys, but I'm only going to work with the winning. That's it. I'm going to work with the winning, the people who, you know, really want to go and either walk this business, we could walk it together. Because obviously there are some of you that work full time and I totally get that, you know, and you're going to build this business on a part time schedule and I respect that 100%. So if you need to walk, we're going to walk. If you need to run, we're going to run. But my time is only going to be allotted to those individuals that are showing up, that are doing the three vital behaviors. And you don't have to say to me, Gab, I'm doing the three vital behaviors. Uh-uh. I can tell if you're doing the three vital behaviors because actions speak louder than words. So don't tell me, just show me. Mommy. And that's all I have to say to you guys. Mommy. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Sorry that Mommy. we went over eight minutes. And that's all I have for you guys. Gabby, I have a question in regards to how do you convert when someone has just signed on as a customer and then they're going to become or you're proposing to convert them over, like the conversion list, to a discount coach? Like how do you... Like, how do you convert them, the actual process, or what do you say to them? Yeah, like, how do you say to them? And I think there's, a like, a sign-on fee, isn't there? There is, but they get it back if they buy a challenge pack. So, basically, you, you know, you, you know who you're, you know, good. Well, first of all, whether they're going to be a discount coach or a working coach, you, you know, right? But we're no, we're no one to judge to say, oh, this person's going to be a discount coach. You know, um, even though, unfortunately, you know, we tend to do that a lot where we judge people and that's not right. So, so you ask them, you tell them, Hey, you know, I've seen your progress. You're doing amazing. Um, I bet people are already asking you what you're doing. So, um, I want to propose two things to you and then you decide which way you want to go. You could tell them the first way is, um, you know, and mention the working coach first and say, I think you've been doing wonderful in the challenge group. You've lost this amount of weight. I'm sure you're inspiring others. Do you want to pay it forward? Um, and then, say, right? And then the other way is, do you want to save 25% off on your next Shakeology guy? And then the way you break it down is by saying, whichever way, right? It's going to be the same setup and in signing up, but you're going to tell them, hey, um, listen, um, you're going to save 25% off on your next Psychology bag. Uh, you, as a customer, would pay $130, which is like $4.33 per shake because there's 30 shakes in, in a bag, um, and say which is affordable. However, why pay $130 when you can pay $115 instead? And how do you pay 115? Then I break that price up. I say your bag, instead of shipping at 130, is going to ship at 97.50. Plus, a, you have to pay a membership. If it's if it's a discount coach, I always use the membership, um, the a membership price because when you start to talk about oh a coach fee, they're like, but I ain't coaching now. What do you mean? So you just say a membership fee and then I equate it to like a Costco because that's exactly what it is. For Costco, what happens? 
you know, in order for you to take advantage of their discount prices, you got to pay membership, right? And I think it's like yearly, but here they divided they divided up into monthly. So yeah. so say fifteen ninety five if they're outside of New York, um, or seventeen dollars if they're inside, plus um, the ninety seven fifty. So it can be anywhere from one thirteen fifty to one fourteen fifty. So they end up saving either fifteen six fifteen dollars and fifty cents or sixteen dollars and fifty cents, depending on where they are. Um, and then and then if they say, oh, yeah, I want to save 15 bucks or 16 bucks, then you say, I'm going to send you a link just the way we enrolled you uh, for your challenge. Um, and you're going to have to pay up front $42. But because you've already invested in your health, Beachbody is going to give it back to you. And then they so say, um, you know, you're going to see a $42 charge on your credit card. And then you're going to see a, um, a refund. So it's going to be charged and then refund. And then how long, how long after two business days, two business days. Mm -hmm. And you do that, um, through a link, through the same link. The, no. So you send them that link, they sign up. Then the minute they sign up, there's a link you can send them to fill out. But I like to do, I've taken ownership of that. Like, you know, as, as coaches, I tell you guys to do it because what happens if they forget, you know, how people are Oh, mm -hmm. thanks. I'll do it. And then forget um, and it's a little, if you, if you give it to them, what ends up happening is that you need to then send them the date they enroll because everybody forgets. You then need to send them their coach ID because they don't know where to find that. So it's easier for you to actually do it. And all you need to do is know their, um, and you're going to have that information from that list that I told you, that conversion list. Mm -hmm. So, um, so all you need is the date they, they enroll, their email address, um, Oh, and their coach ID. So you're going to, the minute they enroll, you can either go to the previous office view to find it, or you can wait for it to pop up in your coach online office. And then once you have that coach ID, I'll show you where the link is um, in, in the back office. And then you fill it out literally like two second link and then Beachbody gets it. That's what, that's what that link does two things. Gives them their money back. And it also brings the volume they had as a customer into their coach account so that it makes that coach account active for them. So that's why that link is very important for us to fill it out right away. And that link, you get it through the back office. Yeah. It's in the back office by going to um, my business and uh, my, hang on a sec. I'm going to show you. I'm going to share my screen real quick. So you go right here actually into my business. That I think. Can you see my screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you go my business and you see where it says my forms and documents. Got it. And then it's this form right here. Um, this one challenge pack free coach enrollment online request form. And it looks like this. Got it. Really? It's not letting me work it. Well, that's weird. Oh, because it's, this thing is frozen. But Gabby, it says you have to do it within 31 days of enrollment. What if they're past that? That's, no, of enrollment as a coach, not, not as a, a challenger. Okay. Okay. So it has to be from the time that they enroll. So this is what it looks like. Look, you see how easy it is? Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I say we do it because you're going to send them the link and you're going to have to send them the ID number and you're going to have to send them the email. I mean, that they they enroll. And then this, I always put yes. Did you, did you have a home direct order within the first, uh, the last 31 days? All right. Got it. That's, that's that. Got it. And that's basically it when I talk to them and then if they're going to work, the business then obviously um you know you go through the same process with them as well and say you're gonna not only save money but with them the coach fee you'll explain what that means that coach fee is to pay your three websites that coach fee is for customer service that coach fee is for training that coach co you know coach fee is for marketing because we pay a low fee to gain all this stuff from each body you know what i mean okay Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Are you guys good? 
All right, cool. So thank you, ladies, for jumping on. I know it was uh, last minute um, or earlier this week, but I figured that it was needed to go over some things. I think it's always important to to go through um, some things that um, that even though they might seem, um, you know, like you guys are already doing, there are things that you might be missing, not because you want to, but because, you know, um, I don't know, you forget or something, you know what I mean? Um, I have another question. So I don't know if people want to drop off, but it's just a question on, so I went into the Dropbox and you have the challenge group expectation. Yes, ma'am. Is there um, like a guide on how to create your own challenge group? Like you said, you, it's, oh, it should only be one round that you do under you, but then you should be launching your own group, et cetera, et cetera. There, is there like a guideline on how to create your own group? What should you be posting on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday? Like um, what? Yeah, so here. So to cre you know how to create a group in, in, in uh, Facebook? Mm -hmm. okay. I just, yeah, I'm going to talk to either Elena or I, the gurus there on how to change the name, though. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let me, let me um, share my screen real quick. So basically, let me close this. So, I'm sorry, I have all these app, these thingies. I, I, I keep them open because my computer is acting up, and then I have to go back to them. Okay, here we go. So let's say, so let's say um, here, like in order to create a new one, I'm just going to pretend like I'm going to create a new one, okay? Okay. Sorry that my, my thing is a little slow. So you go here, create group. You see it? Yep, got it. Mm -hmm. So you open that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you'll get a little window. You put your name there. I'll show you how to change it. Um, and then before you add any member, maybe add like, I don't know, maybe add me or someone who you're going to share responsibilities with in this group, right? Mm -hmm. So that this person, your challengers don't see all the setup um, behind it. And then you can add this group to your favorites so that it's on top so that you know to check it daily. It's going to be a secret group, right? Because public, everybody will see, close, people can find it, but they don't see what's inside. But, you know, this challenge groups are private, no one, secret. No one needs to know they exist. And then you create it, all right? Okay. Then once you're in here, then you can go into, um, I'm going to go to Mission Slim Possible. Matthias is destroying the, uh, oh, wait, let me uh, stop the recording. Damn, I forgot.